Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Sega Master System games on your PC. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing I need to do with today's video is come to this link. Links is always in the description down below. And this is going to be for the emulator we're going to be using in today's video called RetroArch. It's 100% free. The first thing you need to do is come here, come to the download page. And I'd recommend downloading the latest stable. Or if you've got a specific operating system, feel free to download any of the other versions here that best suits you. Once your app is downloaded and installed, you'll be met with the main screen here of RetroArch. What we're going to be doing is coming to the main menu right here. And then either using a mouse or a controller, I'm going to be coming to the load core option here on the right. Once I select this, open here we will see a list of all currently downloaded cores or if we come down to the bottom of this list we will see the option download a core what we need to do is select this and here we'll see a list of all available cores that we can currently download for our retro arch so i'm going to be scrolling all the way down here until i see sega on the list and there's a couple of different cores here we can use to play master system games with retro arch so any of the cores that mention dash ms so for example we have sms plus gx genesis plus gx we have gear system and we have pico drive any of these different emulators will work for master system games for today's video i'm going to be using the genesis plus gx core however if this is giving you issues either with a specific game or just generally feel free to experiment with the other cores here one might run really well for some games but give issues with others so it's worth experimenting here to play around with the different cores however for today's video i'm going to be using the genesis plus gx core to install a core you simply left click or click a on your controller some text will appear at the bottom left to say downloading and installing and you know your core is full ready to go once you see the hashtag here on the right hand side of our core which means it's fully installed and ready to go inside retroarch from this point, we're going to be coming back out of here to the main menu. We're going to be clicking on the load core option one more time. And we're going to be selecting the core that we just downloaded, which for me is the Genesis Plus GX core. If we click it, our core will now be loaded and active inside RetroArch. And you'll notice this confirmed if you look down here on the bottom left, you'll see your current version of RetroArch along here with the core here, Genesis Plus GX. So from this point, we're ready to talk about games. And I will mention in today's video, I'm not going to be showing you where to download games. Although games are really, really easy to find, a quick Google search will help you out here. And I currently have my game here, Wonder by download it in a .zip and most likely when you download your games your games will come in a .zip file. Now thankfully inside RetroArch we can actually play our games directly from a .zip. However you can feel free to extract them as well. If we double click inside our zip file we'll see we have a .sms file and that's the format file we're looking for inside RetroArch. So we can really easily extract this out by right clicking our zip file click extract all just select the current location or anywhere else you would like and then your game will extract and just like that we have our sms file here ready for inside retroarch so once you have your dot zip or your dot sms file ready we're ready to come back over to retroarch as we've already loaded our core up in our previous step we don't need to do that here from this point we can simply just click the load content option and then we're going to be locating to where our game is downloaded now for me my game is right here for today's video i'm just going to be loading the game up with a dot zip file however you can also feel free to load up the dot sms file here as well select your zip file scroll down click load archive and then your game will load up and start to play. Now one nice thing about this emulator is it does keep the original aspect ratio of the original console but you can feel free to scale and resize this window if you would like. Now from this point I would recommend getting a controller. I'm not going to be showing you in today's video how to set up a controller in RetroArch although it is really easy to do. I'll be leaving a card on screen and I'll be leaving a link in the description down below to my previous video where I show you how to set up a controller in RetroArch. It'll make your experience a lot better and it's definitely something I would recommend. Now at any time while playing the game you'd like to go to your menu. If we come to the top left of RetroArch we can click on the command menu and here we have a couple different options with the audio disk and save states however we can also open and toggle our full retroarch menu by clicking the menu toggle option right here which is going to open up our full menu inside retroarch now here if we scroll down we can come to the options tab and here we get a bunch of different things console specific related including system boot rom system locks region cartridge and a bunch of extra information here they can feel free to experiment around with today's video i'm not going to be playing around with it too much it's more of an overview video on how to do everything however you can feel free to come in here and experiment at any settings and really configure and make retroarch exactly exactly what you need. To get back to your game, what you need to do is come back to the quick menu and simply click resume and then your game will start playing again. Now, as mentioned, if any games are giving you issues, you can try downloading from another site or you can simply just try another core inside RetroArch. As mentioned, one may be good while another may give you issues depending on the game or software you're trying to play. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to play Sega Master System games on your PC. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.